Training and mentoring. Now, I'm going to step outside of being a mentor and owning a training company. And you, you've got to trust me when I say and give you the advice I'm about to. From a complete newbie's point of view, what was going through my mind when I discovered Rent to Rent and whether a mentorship or training is worth it. So stay tuned and I'll try and step inside your shoes and give you my thoughts on whether you need training or not. Right, so it's not that complicated, is it? Rent to Rent. You find a property in a high demand area. You rent it from the landlord at an agreement price you stick it on airbnb if you're doing service accommodation and then you make profit because the revenue coming in is going to you know let's say you're renting it 200 pound a night so only going to take 10 nights to cover all expenses including rent and then you've got 20 nights for the rest of the month to make a really good profit how hard can it be to stick it on airbnb that's what a lot of you think then you've got the other strategy, rent to rent HMO. This one in your mind, you might be thinking, actually, this is a bit more complicated. Do I go for a HMO licensed property? Do I go for a three bed with two reception rooms? Do I still need a license if I'm doing that? What compliance? Who do I need to notify? Do I need to get in touch with the council? All of these things are going through your head. So you might think, yeah, I need training on that. But you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't. They just think, yeah, why would I need a mentor? And I'm like, you're crazy. So let me give you my spin when I come across Rent to Rent and why I decided to get a mentor. You've got to ask yourself, are you stupid? Like, are you oblivious to what could go wrong? You're renting a property from a landlord on a long-term let. You're signing a contract. That's a heavy responsibility. You should not go in blind. It's like learning to drive a car without getting an instructor and doing lessons. Why would you do that? Massive risk, putting others at risk. Exactly the same with property. The landlord is entrusting you with their property, their investment. They are expecting rent on time every time for a long period of time. So you need to ask yourself, like, are you going to take this seriously? This is a business. This isn't fun and games. Like people make out like, oh yeah, it's all dreamland, dreamland. On Facebook and Instagram, rent to rent is amazing. They've managed to buy a Rolex and s rest their wrist on a Range Rover like this, driving down a fancy street, you know, really giving off an amazing lifestyle. At the end of the day, you are starting a business. It's not a game, it's not a monopoly, it's a business. Treat it seriously. There's a lot of compliance behind it, a lot of regulations that you need to be in line with. So my thoughts were, I have zero clue about this. All right, the concept looks amazing. The startup costs are low, I can afford it, even though it still was a pinch. It's very expensive to get going, in my eyes, like you need, three to five thousand pounds to start for me that at the time was a lot of money but i said to myself like i could possibly do it alone but i don't know what i don't know what could go wrong what if i don't buy a certain compliance and then later on it bites me in the ass there's a lot of information on youtube like all i did i went on youtube went in all of the relevant facebook groups i sold myself on the business model does this work is it a scam can you become financially free from doing it there's proof everywhere everywhere that this works so okay it's going to cost about three grand for a mentor and that's what it cost me at the time a few years ago now three thousand pounds for a three-month mentorship so in my mind i was like i need someone to hold my hand i've never set up a business wouldn't have a clue how to even set up a business what compliance would i need what to say to agents what to look for on viewings how to negotiate a deal what contracts what break clauses termination clauses it's not all about just rent a property from a landlord stick it on airbnb it's all the nitty gritty that could go wrong that could be detrimental to your business that I never wanted to be detrimental to my business so I'd rather pay and have my hand held and walk through every single process of what could go wrong and have the guidance of someone that has had the experience and know what they're doing so like I said you need to ask yourself are you oblivious and you're just like yeah you know I'm fairly sensible I'll just I'll just do it myself good luck to you like, I really mean that I hope it doesn't go wrong for the landlord's sake not for your sake you're not going to take starting a business seriously especially in property renting where the landlord is entrusting you with their investment and you're not investing in yourself and taking yourself seriously then you are asking for trouble i speak to a lot of people on a weekly basis a lot of people a lot of people book calls with me talk about the mentorship right quite a lot of them say i don't think i need mentoring and i'm just like why are you on a call with me why did you book this call and i set everyone a challenge like okay if you know what you're doing you don't need mentoring that's absolutely fine set them a challenge 
I will get in touch with you in one month's time and if you haven't secured your first viewing then you need to open up and admit that you need accountability. If you're serious about your goals and you want to get where you want to achieve, it's not all about in the training, it's about accountability, support, kicking you up the ass, dragging you to success, being in a community of like-minded people. So that's the state of mind I was in. It's like, okay, I love this business model, I've got the money to go, I'm sold on it. There was no question in my mind that I was going to do this alone. There's no way. I needed the support around me, I needed be a mentee, I needed a mentor, someone to say, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing this, and go and buy this, click here, make sure you're filtering out these, this is what you say, this is what you look for, know that contract shit, don't sign it. I literally just wanted very clear direction from someone who knows what they're doing. That to me is worth its weight in gold. So yes, you know, you may be watching this, well, yeah, you're right, Kenny, you're a mentor. I really do try and stay grounded and still relate to you guys as potential clients, students of other mentors, just at the very start of your journey, like what to expect. I'm very real, very grounded. So you need to trust me when I say I know what you're going through, I know your mindsets. I know what you're about to embark on as well. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, really, is if you're looking at doing rent to rent, playing a high risk game, going at it alone, you may be extremely intelligent and all you need is one online course and you've got all of the information. You don't need to be held accountable. You don't need very clear direction. You've set up businesses before. You can deal with the compliance and fair enough. You're the, probably the type of person that would make it if you hold yourself accountable. But for 99% of the population who's just come across rent to rent and it's very exciting, you need to treat this seriously. It's a business. A lot of responsibility on the other end. And you need to look at the bigger picture. If you create a horror story that ends up in the news, it could be detrimental to rent to renters. Anyway, this video isn't meant to be about encouraging you to go and find a mentor i'm just trying to get into your mind that this is serious do not play it as a game it took me three months to secure three rent to rent hmos as a complete newbie i was extremely excited but also extremely crapping myself because this was three large properties you know straight up to 21 tenants with zero experience. So I needed help and support and accountability and clear direction then as well. But at that time, I was more focused on about saving the money to take on these properties as opposed to renewing the mentorship. So I had very little accountability from mentors at that point. But I knew what I was doing. I'd learned to drive the car. I had the driving license certificate. I just had to drive the car, you know? Learn as you go. But becoming compliant and set up and know how to talk to agents, know how to negotiate a deal, know what contracts you should be signing to protect yourself and the landlord. There's a lot of businesses out there that promote you take on the maintenance or you take on a part of the maintenance. We don't teach that at all. You should not be taking on maintenance. We're a corporate tenant. That's it. Just a tenant. A tenant would not be responsible for fixing boilers or replacing electrics or anything substantial. Light bulbs, smoke alarms, that's pretty much it. I had a fridge door seal go in one of my HMOs the other day. You think that's on me? No. Report it to the estate agent. The fridge door does not stay shut. Brand new fridge. Did I pay anything? No. It's the agent. That's the landlord's responsibilities because it's in the contract. You don't want anything substantial to affect your monthly profits. We have voids to contend with, tenants to keep happy, cleaners to manage, cleaning expectations from the tenants to manage, and paying rent on time. We don't want to take on the maintenance as well. So just to wrap this video up, if you're looking into rent to rent and you've possibly gone on a day or two day course and you're feeling really inspired, so you should be. It's an amazing opportunity to change your life as it did mine but just take it very seriously. If you're very competent and you can go at it alone, do so. If you feel like, yeah, how hard can it be? You shouldn't go at it alone. That's when it could possibly go wrong. I'm just setting the expectation. There's quite a few horror stories out there. People handing keys back all the time. Don't put yourself through a massive amount of stress and stress on your family. Take this business serious. If you want to change your life, take it seriously. Apologies for the doom and gloom message, but I just think it's really important for me to say this. And I hope you don't take it from like a mentor's point of view. I'm just giving you my insights of when I was a mentee and how I was thinking and I made it. You know, it's not all about just paying for a mentorship and a huge expense at the front. It's all about investing in yourself and the education and clear direction to create a profitable and sustainable business. All right, guys. See you on the next one.